Hi there, this is Sidani, and welcome back to the next chapter of Farm Manager 2018. Currently, we're in Chapter 6, Agricultural Business, and we're completing a 90-day training of a workshop on production management. And just to recap a little bit from last episode, um, we were requested to build a small juice factory and uh, produce apple cherry tomato juices which we've done and we've also built this cooling house and then our last building uh, was a seed house or seedling production building that I'm not entirely sure what to do with or how to do it and in any case we'd probably have to wait to fall till we can produce the seeds anyway to produce this building so we're just in the last day of the uh, workshop and let's just speed this up a little bit and see uh, and see what uh, we have next on the uh, menu. All right, there we go, we finished it up. And that should pop up uh, the next quest, our third quest. <laughs> We've already done this. A na the neighbor suggested to me that buckwheat honey production is very profitable. Maybe it's worth a try. So buckwheat somewhere near the hives using your machines and produce 200 jars of buckwheat honey. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, but well, since I have those on auto trade, what I'll do is I will take those off trade, auto trade. Uh, I sort of wish you could sort this a little bit better. Um, let's see where buckwheat honey is. Scrolling, scrolling, buckwheat honey. Okay. Or I could just say sell anything above 200, I suppose, but let's just do it this way. Uh, I, let's, I think it would be stored in the warehouse if we have any. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I don't think we have any. Um, let's go back and see what our um, warehouse is. I don't think I saw any when I took it off trade. Um, yeah, I don't see any anywhere. Okay, so we're going to have to wait until, you know, spring. <laughs> when we can plant but but what i'll do is i think i have one of these as a buckwheat and one as a colza so um what i may do is just turn two of these into buckwheat these two right here into buckwheat because i'm not sure how close they have to be i'm not sure with the um if we can actually put much next to the windmill we could also put just a small little maybe just a small little that might be good. Just a small little field here if we could put one in. Not sure. We have to wait anyway. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Another hurry up and wait type of thing. <laughs> so, yeah. It's quiet on the farm. Not too much going on. We're just waiting for spring. Everybody's just kind of doing their thing. And we're back. We've completed the 200 units of producing buckwheat hun honey. And now we're on to the next piece of chapter six, which is complete the industrial farm cow management training and industrial goat and sheep farm management training and build a large cow shed. Okay, so this we'll see how long this training is going to take and where we can place a cow shed, a large one. <laughs> that should be fun. I'm kind of in a crisis mode right now. Um, even though it rained quite a bit, our fields are really thirsty. Um, so hoping to get some folks out, water these fields. I hired more uh, seasonal workers to assist with this. So hopefully we'll get this under control. I think that's fine. Okay, I think things are well watered for the time being. Oops, we need to uh, mow the grass again. Raspberry field's fine. Okay, so let's have uh, Leanne mow the grass and let's go check out the farming and where in the world can we put a large cow shed. All right, 
so what did we need to do? Industrial management training for cow farming. Okay, that's, oh my gosh, that's 40,000 credits and 60 days. Okay, now what was the other one? Industrial management training for sheep and goat farming, which is 60,000 60, credits and 60 days of training. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, this is going to take a while. So we'll start that, uh, 60 days, and I'll, okay, at least we have enough credits in the bank to do this, so it's not a total loss. Okay, we can probably get enough room down here, perhaps, and we'll probably need to build another, yeah, we'll probably have to build another house for fa uh, permanent employees, but let's see what the large cow shed looks like. Um, animals, hello. Large. Uh, oh. Oh, we have to wait for the training to complete before we can do it. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, we'll uh, be back in 60 days then. Game time. 60 days, not real life time. Just in case. Okay, we have one day left in our uh, industrial management training for cow farming. So hopefully that'll be done soon. Uh, right now, just um, getting these fields. Oh, there we go. We're done. Awesome. Okay. So let's do the next uh, industrial management for sheep and goat farming. Let's go to our house, find that. Thankfully, we've made a little bit of money, so we don't have to stress about the expense. Okay, and let's see. Let's run. Here it is. Okay, so 60,000 credits and uh, six, it's 60,000 credits and it's 60 days of school time. So let's just get that started, and now let's figure out where we are going to build the cow shed, the large cow shed. Let's see how large it is. Okay, that is exceedingly large. However, it will fit okay over there. Um, let's see. What I'd like to do... What I, what I need to do is we need to put in a, a house for permanent employees over here as well. But let's, so let's put this right about there. It's, I think that'll give us enough space for the employee's house. Okay. Yeah, we can probably put some a, a house here. But I don't know if they want to live next to a sheep farm. That, that, that'll stink. Okay, so the barn is done, and now we just need to wait for the uh, training. And since we're heading into fall, there's not really too much we, we can have one do one day right left now. for the next, uh, to complete this, this portion of the chapter. And there we go. Awesome. All right, let's see what's next. Okay. You have a natural talent for breeding cows. They give so much milk that you think that you should think about its processing. Build a large dairy and produce cow cheese. Okay. Let's see how much this is going to cost. Um, seems like we should. He didn't say anything about building putting cows in here, so we probably should do that if we're going to produce cow cheese. Just put the road down through here double up a little bit okay all right so let's get we need three employees in the small milk processing plant and three employees for here so let's um let's hire some employees uh, let's see let's hire some production oh here's one we'll need three production We'll hire Elizabeth, and we'll put her in five. 
Uh, let's see if we can just find some singles. Uh, oh, here's one for um, our cow barn. Let's see. Oh, this was a nice one for our cow barn. He has some, um, whoops, endurance, which is handy. And we have like nobody else. We may have to wait a bit for this to refresh. Um, I guess we could get her. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get her. Wow, kind of, uh, yeah, all right, um, let's just buy, let's just, um, put Tyler and, um, uh, Mason in here. Okay, and let's buy some animals. Oh, it's expensive. All right, let's buy, um, let's buy 20 animals and we'll breed the rest of them. It should be okay. And let's see, production. Ella and... Elizabeth for now. That should be fine. I may have to get us. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to have to buy some rye wheat and oats for our animals. Let's do that. Let's um buy some more stuff. So we need. Oh, I think we're on, we're on full ages. Okay, so let's buy uh, Colza. Ooh, that's a lot. We're not going to buy that much. We're going to buy, let's buy a thousand units or kilograms. Colza. Did we need rye? Oh, I forgot. Oh, we're going to stop production of our... Oh, I should do that. We need to stop production on the... Um, the flower... Uh, what's this thing called over here? This thing. We're going to stop production here. Ah, uh, shoot. Whoops. Let's... How do we stop? Let's just stop because we need this for other things. And, oh yes, he had two people. Um, let us reassign. Oh, can I, re okay, let's stop production. Clear. So I, I might demolish that. Yeah. Okay, let's um make sure. Okay. okay, so let's harvest my Bonnie, Bonnie, and Frankie. Okay, they can do that while we wait for some cheeses to be done. Let's bail. Who can bail? You guys can bail. Just everybody needs to work. Okay, so I'm not understanding why my milk processing plant thing didn't go off. Um, I really don't want to spend more money. I should have been under production. Oh, I wonder if they wanted the bigger one. Ugh, the large one. That's going to take all our money. Oh, that's annoying. And it's freaking huge. I don't have any room for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I don't 
don't know why a small one couldn't have worked. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Oh, come on. Well, it might have fit here if we get rid of... All right. Oh my gosh, that's going to be... All right, we need to stop. I need to let everybody go. This says we have... Okay, you know what? We're just going to take the loss because I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's going to be so expensive. It's going to take all our funding. Oh, all right. Well, let's see what we can do. Can it fit back here? No, I got to wipe out that road. Oh, I do not know why they needed to, they couldn't go with the small one. Oh, so annoying. Your animals are sick. Again? Jeez. Okay. Let's see if we can put the uh, the bigger one. For unknown reasons, we have to buy a big one. I'm annoyed with that. Well, we might as well put it next to the road. Oh, this is such a huge loss. Okay, so I misunderstood the milk processing plant. You're supposed to do a large one, apparently, not a small one. So, but we did it. We, uh, okay, we are going to end the um, episode now, as it looks like we need to produce a thousand raspberries. 3,000 strawberries and 6,000 cherries, which means I have to do, we have to, it's going to be a while. <laughs> uh, that's going to be several seasons. So I'm going to end this now and pick it up later after I've done all this.